In 2016, when the Rams announced that they were leaving St. Louis, there were a number of sad football fans, but for the Bar Association Metropolitan St. Louis and the St. Louis Bar Foundation, which had sponsored the Motion for Kids program for almost 30 years, it was particularly a sad time because we had nowhere to go with our 2,500 children and their parents. Looking for a place to have an event like that during the holidays was difficult. Our friends at SLU Law suggested that they could introduce us to the St. Louis University folks who were very kind to and gracious to allow us to use Chaffetz Arena. Once that had been decided, however, there was a lot of work to be done and that's where Captain Moran came in. He has been phenomenal over the past three years working with us to make sure that we had a safe environment, easy parking, and a happy community outcome for our Motion for Kids children. I am so grateful to Captain Moran and the St. Louis University Public Safety Team. They have been a wonderful addition to our Motion for Kids project and we are so happy to honor him this evening with the Spirit of Justice. This award. Well, I've always been uh, community oriented. Many years ago I had an opportunity to learn community oriented policing, a, a COPS program. It really instilled in me that getting to know your community helps policing and having the people know you before you show up is a benefit. That transformed me into the person I think that I am today. Back in about 1989 uh, I had an opportunity to do a run to benefit Special Olympics. And when I did that run and got to meet some of the Special Olympic athletes, I found my second calling. Three years ago, when Motion for Kids was looking for a new venue, I was thrilled that St. Louis University answered the call. It's a major event. It takes a lot of work. But those of us who know Chief Moran are not at all surprised by his tremendous dedication to the event and his eagerness to go above and beyond in support of Motion for Kids, and importantly, in support of the children who are so positively impacted. I know that Chief Moran believes it to be critically important for St. Louis University to engage with the community, and that Chief Moran believes that each of us who is part of this university is called to insert ourselves in the world on behalf of the marginalized and those who are less fortunate. I have known him for at least 11 or 12 years. He does the law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics. He does Over the Edge, which is another fundraiser for Special Olympics. He is a very, very good guy. He's an all-around guy. He would do anything for you. When the Bar Association brought the idea of the uh, kids program here, it was like an easy call for me. It's like, okay, DPS, we're going to do this because this is going to be really important for us and it's going to be really important for the community that they see St. Louis University, because that's who we really represent is St. Louis University, that they see St. Louis University as community involvement leaders. For me the importance has been lead by example. Seeing the benefit, not just that the people that I help get, but that how I get, the benefit that I get, the, the person that it helped make me be and um, <clears throat> I'm proud of that. I just am fortunate as well that I have a staff that th their hearts are as big as their bodies. What Jim has done uh, with the Special Olympics is nothing short of amazing. I worked with Jim on many, many occasions where we were either giving trophies to Special uh, Olympic kids or torch runs or whatever. Jim's actually traveled to Ireland to participate in torch run there as well. So it's no surprise to me that Jim has been nominated and is receiving this Spirit of Justice Award. He, deser he deserves it. He's put in, he's put in a, lot, a lot of hard work for many years, and he, de he deserves it. <laughs>